Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put together the latte box card from Simply Crafty SVGs. So with this file there comes two uh, Word printable Word panels in SVG format that are Thanks a Latte and Love You a Latte. And a blank as well so you can add your own word or use whatever else you want to use. So that's one of the finished cards. So to start we will put together the actual card portion. You'll want the texture if you have textured paper on the outside. So you'll see that it'll attach that way but we're going to flip it over so the texture is on the front for that front piece and then we'll add glue to that side tab, the left side tab first. And we're going to overlap that edge and line it up to the tab fold and apply pressure so this is a real simple box card. We don't have an insert or anything like that. Um, it's a great card. It's easy to make and uh, it can stand up when the recipient gets it. So we can flatten this in the envelope. I'll show you how to put together. And then you can see that you can just fold over that other tab and glue it just right down there. It's really easy. So it's just a quick card to put together and you can use it for pretty much any time. You can see that's how it goes together. So now we're going to add the front panels and the uh, side panels. So for this one, you'll see this panel, you want to put it down to the bottom where the edge is kind of the same on the side and the bottom. In the top there'll be a little bit more gap because we needed that so um, I didn't want the paper to show through because we have a kind of like a top border panel that we're going to add. And then we're going to put together the, the little panels, which these are little ones are the side ones. And then we'll have a front one. So the way I do it is just add a little bit of glue to the back. Make sure you don't do too much near the openings and then um, you'll have a little glue come through if that's the case. A uh, fine tip applicator helps with that but I just was lightly using the Sco Scotch uh, Quick Dry which it was adding just a little bit too much but if it does you can always kind of wipe it off with your finger. Just make sure you have a wet paper towel nearby. So you can see I'm just lining it up. It just fits perfectly to that back panel so the color can come through. And then we'll do the same on the front. So it is just imperative. I'm going to switch here to a fine tip applicator that you don't put too much glue because you don't want it leaking out the edges or through the cutout openings. This card really could be used for anything. Thank you, uh, thinking of you. But I just had the two sentiments that, you know, you can always need a thank you card. Then once these are together, we're just going to glue them to the front and sides. You want to make sure that they're upright, but you see I kind of, you can put them on either side. Just make sure the heart heart's on the top. Because I did put it upside down on one side, you'll see here, um, but I did fix it. So this side's okay. So we're just centering it. So my glue was still a little wet so I can move it around. And then we'll just line that up. You see that it hides the top edge of that back panel. So that side panel lines up so to the entire side. So you see how it folds over. And this one I did put on upside down. So um, I did uh, correct it, but just be careful when you're putting them on. I didn't correct it in the video. So you can see how it folds. So if you have flimsy cardstock for this piece, you could always um, have 
put two pieces together. So cut two, two of them, and then it'll be stronger. But I had I think 65 pound cardstock. Um, it's a little flimsy, but um, like I said, you could always, if you're concerned about it and it's kind of bending a little bit too much for you, just uh, glue two together to make it a little thicker. You see, I'm just kind of putting it in there so that bottom portion lines up or is right below that at bot back edge. So you only see the little swirls coming up. Then depending on whether you want to, like I said, I have layered SVG files with the I Love You a Latte just for the front portion. It's in black and white, but mid most of your um, your software for die cutters, you can change the colors, which I did. And I'm just going to add a little pop-up foam tape to the back of it to pop it up. Just want to center it here. And we'll add that back panel. So that's just so you can write on it. So that's the blank one that would come with the file if you want to add your own sentiment. It's in white by default, but again, you could add any color. Whatever works for you. I didn't really make the file uh, colors the same as the card. And then we go ahead and just center that so you can write a little message. So that's it. And when we, when we, uh, you can see both the cards next to each other. But when you do fold them, uh, you'll have to fold it to the right to make sure it fits into the envelope. But I'll show you in a minute. So you can see they stand up and fold flat. So we're going to make the envelope really quickly. So you just fold it as shown. And then you're going to fold it up. We're going to put the flaps in first and then fold glue that bottom part up. You just have to make a note of where you can add glue. So I kind of visually looked at it and see where I could add glue without it leaking out. And do the same on the other side. This is not a common envelope size, so I included an envelope. And then once you are ready to send it, of course, you can just glue the flap. So that's how it just folds down. And so you do have to fold it to the right in order for it to fit in the card. If you do it to the left, it will not fit. And then it'll fold shut. Just to show you, this is how it's much bigger. So make sure you fold it to the right to fit it in. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, I thought it was a little fun for me as well. Thank you for watching.